Item number, SCP-6654, Level 2 Restricted, Containment Class, Euclid, Disruption Class, Vlam, Risk Class, Warning. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-6654 is contained in a standard humanoid containment chamber within Site-56. It is to be given amenities and regular human contact via a weekly psychological interview to ensure compliance and stability of containment. Researchers are not to mention SCP-6654's anomalous effects to it, as to prevent catastrophic breach of containment, instead treating any deviations from baseline reality as normal or expected. Personnel are to avoid introducing SCP-6654 to new concepts, especially those relating to harmful stimuli, including injuries, diseases, and toxins. Description: SCP-6654 is a humanoid presenting as a man in his late 50s, invariably wearing a striped blue polo shirt. Since its containment in 1923, SCP-6654 has shown no signs of aging and no deviations from the above appearance, regardless of the Foundation's attempted interference. These facts are, presumably, a result of its primary anomalous effect. SCP-6654 is a living, localized semiohazard. Footnote 1. A semiohazard, informally, is a fact of the universe that just shouldn't be true, but functionally is. They are inherently abstract, and affect the way that we think and communicate about reality. Intro to Semiontology by S. M. Katz, Esquire. SCP-6654, and by proxy, its surroundings, are only affected by reality it observes or believes to be true, which in turn becomes reality. The limits of this ability are assumed to be infinite, but testing has not been carried out to prevent irreversible damage to consensus reality. SCP-6654 has been described as forgetful, oblivious, and obnoxious by personnel. It is apparently unaware of its abilities, possessing severe cognitive dissonance when questioned regarding its localized changes to reality. This is considered a benefit to the Foundation, as it prevents SCP-6654 from utilizing its abilities to great extent. Addendum 1 – Notable Interviews Involving SCP-6654 Date, August 4th, 2011. Interviewer, Dr. Regino Hansen. Interviewee, SCP-6654. Context, the area surrounding Site-56 was subject to a magnitude 4.5 earthquake, causing minor structural damage site-wide. SCP-6654 and its containment chamber were unaffected. Dr. Hansen enters the containment chamber. SCP-6654 is lying in bed, watching MASH. Hi 6654, I'm Dr. Hansen, and I've just got a couple of questions for you if that's alright. Nope, it isn't. I'm busy. Understandable. I'll be on my way. Dr. Hansen nods apologetically and walks out the containment chamber. He pauses. Wait a fucking minute! Date, August 4th, 2011. Interviewer. Dr. Regino Hansen, Interviewee, SCP-6654. Context: Follow-up to previous interview. SCP-6654, can I ask you some questions? You'll be rewarded for your compliance. No. I... Dr. Hansen attempts to vocalize for several minutes while SCP-6654 stares at him, but is unable to. Without a further word, he walks out the containment chamber, slamming the wall as he leaves. Date, August 4th, 2011. Interviewer, Dr. Regino Hansen. Interviewee, SCP-6654. Context, follow up to previous interview. SCP-6654, I'm going to ask you some questions. You should have just said, honestly. Been getting some real mixed signals here. Dr. Hansen sighs, taking a deep breath. I just, did you notice anything weird this morning? Other than you walking in and out of my room every 30 seconds? Other than that. Breakfast didn't turn up, which was very inconvenient, all things considered, but that's about it. You didn't notice the earthquake that took down half the site this morning? That meant we couldn't deliver breakfast? 
If I got hit with an earthquake, I think I'd know about it. I'm not stupid. Hansen hesitates and declines to comment. <sighs> Thank you, that will be all. Date, October 9th, 2011. Interviewer, Dr. Regino Hansen. Interviewee, SCP-6654. Context. When visited for a standard psychological checkup, SCP-6654 could not be found in its containment chamber and was presumed missing. Dr. Hansen sighs to himself and walks into the containment chamber. He briefly panics, trying to locate SCP-6654. As Hansen is about to leave in a rush to alert command of the breach, SCP-6654, found lying down on the ceiling, laughs, causing Hansen to jump. Fuck! How the fuck are you up there? What? The roof. You're on the roof. Very observant. How the hell are you on the roof? I got bored of the bed. Why wouldn't I be on the roof? Gravity? SCP-6654 hesitates. Shit. Without warning, SCP-6654 rapidly falls from the ceiling, flailing as it drops. With a loud crash, it lands face first on the ground, letting out a loud groan. Closing Notes At first, the subject refused treatment, claiming it wasn't that bad, and failing to understand concepts including broken bones, infections, and doctors. Upon being introduced to such, SCP-6654 manifested a broken wrist and severe bruising down one side of its body. Following treatment, these healed in a manner expected of non-anomalous injuries. Date: June 17, 2013 Interviewer, Dr. Yolanda Marie Interviewee, SCP-6654 Dr. Marie enters the containment chamber. SCP-6654 is, once again, lying in bed, watching MASH. What happened to the regular guy? To who? Reggie. Tall guy, brown hair, annoying voice. Used to do these weekly checkups. There was... a breach. Something dangerous got out and got him. About a week ago. Marie pauses, wiping her eye. He... passed away. What? I'm sorry, this must be a lot to take in. Were you close? SCP-6654 laughs. <laughs> what? God no, the guy was insufferable. But he... what? Oh yes, I forgot that you're immortal. Must be quite a confusing concept to deal with. Immortal? Dr. Marie freezes. It's nothing to worry about. Oh come on, you've got me interested now. Really, it's nothing. Go on. You know. Immortal. Invincible. Eternal. Unable to die. SCP-6654's face fills with horror as it stumbles backwards. Unable to what? SCP-6654 cries out and falls onto the floor. Its skin rapidly deforms, forming layers of skin folds across its entire body. It begins to cough and tremor uncontrollably, curling up into a ball for safety. Its hair thins heavily, before turning white and falling out entirely. As SCP-6654 cries, its voice becomes hoarse and weak, while losing a large amount of body mass, making its skeleton clearly visible beneath the skin. Dr. Marie recoils, and immediately runs out of the containment chamber. Thirty seconds later, SCP-6654 ceases life signs. No further anomalous activity has been recorded by SCP-6654 since this incident. Reclassification to neutralized is pending. Thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Scrubversive, Everborn, Totally Not a Femboy, and Joe Light. And a huge thank you to my level 5 patron, Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.